Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm Spider47 and today we are the Netherlands. We are the Netherlands on the tip of Brazil. So in the last episode we managed to peace out, well France pieced out Portugal and gave us their only established colony in Pernambuco. 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 Portuguese, we are making a core. It will take another two years. We are making our fourth colony up here as well in Rio Grande. That will give us one, two, three, four. So any one more, maybe right here, we'll end up taking. This will give us our colonial nation in South America. We now have Havana right here. We are working on Curacao. We have Trinidad, and we are fabricating a claim on St. Lucia, I believe. Nope, St. Vincent. We'll work on St. Lucia next. That'll give us the colonies that we need to have our Caribbean colonial nation. With that also comes the end of the claim fabrication, so we'll have to keep fabricating on Portugal. We are incredibly overextended at the moment. We are exactly 121%, I believe. Let's see. Yep, 121.2%. Why? Because we don't have the admin points to core anything. Yes, we got more land than we expected. Now, France has helped make us a powerhouse in Europe. And soon enough, we will repay them by, well, declaring. So, come on. We are trying to prevent too many people from joining the coalition against us. Picked up a little bit of heat. As you can see, 44... 44 with Brandenburg, 44 with Brunswick, 47 with Munster, oh no, picked up 29, but of course Denmark is our rival, and well, we'll see. Savoy and Venice, nice. Now, what do we want to do next? Well, we can't really do anything. We are losing 13 ducats a month due to four colonies. Those colonies are, well... A long ways away from being finished most of them are brand new so we're just gonna have to bite the bullet hopefully uh oh harsh treatment has ended in the Azores what's the revolt risk like 8.7 can't have that I'm not gonna have that kind of revolt risk on an island we are fighting the Swedish Navy once again let's go heal up well how about we just sail around and repair and yeah, we are going to work on stability. This will give us minus two revolt risk and diplo reputation plus two. Wow, look at that. Inflation. The state of constant war has eroded our economy and now inflation is spiraling out of control. And bad reputation. Our recent strategy to carve new provinces out of whoever happens to be in the way surprisingly seems to have had a somewhat negative effect on our standing among our fellow nations. Aw, oh, we lost 25 prestige. Well, that's a shame. Well, we can make two more provinces a core, or we can wait and get Puerto. Let's go ahead and work on these. Shouldn't be too much longer. 37, so we'll have to wait, what, one more month, maybe? How many are we getting? Six? 75? We're going to have to wait more than a month. I thought we were further ahead. Alright, we've engaged. That Wow, that pop-up was so slow. War, uh, wave? I thought war. Wave of obscurantism. As a typical response to different kinds of problems, obscurantism was a frequent behavior in most nations at least until the Age of Enlightenment arose. Can gain two revolt risk or lose 33 prestige. Well, it's a good thing we're using our religious fervor on lowering revolt risk. Now we are gonna have to do something about money. Are we getting anywhere with these colonies? Right here. You have a no you don't. So come here. Recall. Send you here. Get this one done. He will arrive 
Probably not in time. Come on. 856. What are we gaining? Wow, three colonists. It's amazing. Havana. Portugal is improving relations with us. We lost absolutely no one in that battle. It's fantastic. Lorraine is improving relations with us. Well, that's nice to know. They don't seem to be too upset that we took land. Portugal have repealed their policy. We could take global tariffs. Nope. Oh, ah, they reenacted it. Nice. When will you arrive? We're going to be taking a loan here in two months. Let's add to stability. Our army's elan strikes fear into the enemy. Our policy of choosing the offensive over the defensive has led to tales about the elan. Elan, yeah. Of armies. Oh, we gained 25 prestige. Well, that's nice to know. And sugar. 28 days. Yep. There we go. We could build something. We don't want to. We just need to get rid of one of these colonies quickly. Hesse is still the emperor. That's amazing. Not even big enough to defend yourself. Havana? Havana's very... Co oh. One, one brave soul lost their life. Yep. That costs us 0.26 ducats extra per month. Cleves is a noble republic. Unfortunately, that doesn't affect their vassal state. Sugar will be produced in Curacao. Alright. Come on. 55% chance. This should finish here very quickly. Inflation again. And yes, I know we need to core two more provinces, but fantastic. I'm trying to get to 151 to make Puerto. As you can see, most of these will drop below 100 here shortly. There's one. 96. We've blown their navy up once again. Curacao, there we go. And that means that we are only losing six. So if we were to raise war taxes for two years, we will make positive money. There we go. Now, where do we want to send our next Havana? Havana has a set. Uh, yeah. So let us send him to Curacao. There we go. Let's get these two colonies done. Now we have a spare diplomat, so Caribus. Unfortunately, we need to continue fabricating claims on you. There we go. Let's go ahead and boost stability again. How far away are we? Not that far. At least from uh, making... Puerto, the core. We've gained another core. So our... Oh, the Hansa. In England, it would be nice if you just saved your navy until the end of this war. Because at the rate this is going, you're just becoming target practice. Hmm, what is our... 61% pretty sure if we took a uh, hmm you want an admiral oh wow look at that admiral well the Lubeck trade node needs a new admiral so come on come on home real quick so this is Frederick Hendrik de Hotman, sir, we give you the Lubick trade node. We expect you to guard it well. All right, we are losing ducats. Nope, we're gaining ducats. See, just taking that one sh fleet out. Our coalition is growing. The Hansa, Denmark. 
No, it's not. It's just those two. Where are you now? 37, 39. Oh, y'all don't even care anymore. Get over it. It was just two provinces. Portugal, on the other hand, they, sh they should worry. They should be scared. Ah. Okay. I go. Let's go ahead and take that. That reduces our overextension. We're at exactly 151. Let's go ahead and do that. And, well. Trade protection. What? Did you just decide to embargo us? Why would we have a CV against... Oh, I bet I know what that is. They probably have a... Fleet. What kind of CV do we have against you? Where's our nation? Against the CB. Yeah, but where? Where do they have that fleet? In the Caribbean? I mean, if it's in the Caribbean, there's not much I can do. Oh well. Castile, we might be enemies soon enough as well. We'll really have to think about getting a new a big ally. How far away are these? Puerto is almost done. 12, I think we need 75 for the next. Oh no, our statesman has died. Colonial range. Fantastic. The Hansa have declared on Minsta. Really? This is going to be interesting. Hesse has joined them. Sure, you can have military access. But you're at war with the Emperor, so... Not really sure how that's going to work out for you. Alright. That's a nice little... Um, Rio Grande will produce gold. That'll be nice for our colonial nation. Oh, get off us. Come on. So just two more provinces need to be cored. In fact, how about you go home to... Uh, oh, you're not quite our capital yet. Utrecht is our capital. Let's focus back on trade. We need to make some ducats. Alright, foreign drill instructor available. Maurice of Orange pioneered new drills for firearms that made the new weapons much more effective. This drill technique was not a secret, and numerous military entrepreneurs learned the drill and placed their services at the disposal of the crowded heads of Europe. Gain 20 army tradition, lose 171 ducats, or lose 10 prestige. Uh, lost an army reformer. What do we have? Fort defense and land maintenance. Let's go to fort defense. Hmm. Take a second loan? Sure, why not? Norway declared upon their new enemy, England. Interesting. And who joined you in the alliance? Sweden did. Yes, you may have military access. How getting military access via my province is going to help you? Not quite sure. Taking a second loan. We fabricated another claim. The rate at this the rate at which this war is going, we may be able to declare against Portugal all over again. Now they're in a co they're a target of a coalition, but they're not in the coalition against us. So how much longer do we have a truce timer with you? It's almost up. In fact, at the end of this year, we're going to declare on Portugal. 
France is improving relations with us. That's fine. Is there anything else that we could potentially fabricate a claim on? We could on this province. Let's get our diplomat back. Caribus. Unfortunately, Caribus, that will be the end. Come on. Let's go back on trade. We'll have to repay these loans here shortly. Our diplomat has arrived. England, if we accept white peace with you now, it won't do us any good. We're going to fabricate a claim on... We want Kumana. Why not? Let's take Kumana. I think that'll cause us a little bit less aggressive expansion. Simply because it's not in Europe. And before we declare the war, we may just turn around. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Making 13 ducats. We do need to wait for this core. Nope. I don't think we're going to wait on this core to finish. There'll be plenty of time for that later. We are going to take... This and make it a core real quick. Go. Now, do we have the advisor... Still no missionary strength. Go away. Right now. Is it September yet? Up, oh, England will cede. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Well, at least we'll be able to finish our cores this way. Now. How are we going to get Castile in a war against oh okay that's what they were doing they were probably privateering in England hmm how are we gonna go to war with Portugal without getting Castile involved better yet could we go to war with Portugal and get France to fight Castile that would be ideal. Oh, we've got some reformed. Unfortunately, you won't last very long. Yep, there goes 20,000 units. 31,000. And Auf Wiedersehen. What is this? Predestination. Reformed theologians believe that one... Blah. Reformed theologians believed that only those who are predestined to be saved can be saved. But since it is impossible to know who is predestined, a notion has developed that it might be possible to discern that a person is predestined by observing their way of life. As hard work, frugality, frugality social success, and wealth are thought to be important consequences of being predestined, it seems to inspire followers to the Reformed faith to strive for reaching them, as well as attracting those who already possess them, like burghers and merchants. We can lose 100 Diplo power, gain plus 10% production efficiency for the next... Wow, but is it 25 years? Or leave it be and lose 10 points of fervor. We want to lose 100 Diplo power, one point away from accomplishing the next point. Wait, we only have two allies. Hold on. Full annexation... Did you just change your capital? You did. Well, good for you. We have... Military access. Go figure. We don't have a spare diplomat. We'll have to cancel that. Um, that was kind of cheap, what I just did. But, let's go ahead and take that. Finish out the next idea group. That gives us infantry combat ability plus 10%, as well as 
trade income modifier plus 15%. So let's see what our next, let's go ahead and lose 100 points. What does that mean for our income in the next month? England is improving relations once again. That's fine. Come on. Get the month over with. So we have now made a jump to six ducats. We're going to recall because there's nothing else we can do. We're not quite there yet as far as Diplo points. You have caught us again. Well, not a big concern. Castile declared on the Aztecs. Hmm. Interesting. Should we declare on them as well? I don't know if we have enough troops over here at the moment. Well, we'll think about it. We'll decide in the next episode if we want to declare on the Aztecs, on the Maya, or anyone else. Fortunately, they're not in the Caribbean trade note. Otherwise, I'd gladly do it. Yep. Colonial Mexico. So, we need to go to war with colonial Caribbean nations such as Caribus. Because all of this in green, light green here, will be ours in the near future. Colonial Eastern America, so that's not going to be an issue. We don't really need to go up into Eastern America. We may over the course of several wars, but for right now, we're just going to kind of see how it goes. We are making plenty of ducats. We have a force limit now of 60,000. We are over that force limit, in fact. We will... Are we already coring this? Yeah, we are. So we just have two cores left to finish. This should be done here shortly. How's our colonial progress? Havana should be finished here shortly, as well as Curacao. Then we'll have two extra diplomats. No, not diplomats. We have two extra colonists. So we'll put one more in... Oh, do we want one more? Two more? We'll do one more in Brazil, and then we'll jump over to Africa. And see, maybe we do the Ivory Coast. Fortunately, these take forever to colonize... So it may just be better to... Nope. We don't have a CB against them. It may just be better to stick one right here. Hmm. It may just be better to take this province from Portugal and then declare on Mali. We need to start jumping the coast down Africa. We want to see what's over here in the uncharted lands of Southeast Asia. Meantime... Do we want to fabricate a claim on you? You're out of Scotland. We could easily take this and vassalize Scotland. Next war with England, take back our lands. Hmm. Who does this belong to? I don't see why you decided to do that, Norway. That was just foolish. Could land our units here, take this, and then slowly ship over. Could also land right here and trap the English army. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we do in the next episode. Definitely attacking Munster to get... Well, if we have a cascading alliance, then we'll be at war with France. So maybe not such a great idea just yet. Definitely need to figure out a way to go to war with Portugal again. Unfortunately, unless we can go to war with Aragon. Could send some trade fleet into Genoa. And then see if we can't fabricate on Aragon trade war. That would probably get Castile and France involved. Then we could take a few more provinces. We'll just kind of wait and see how it plays out. Anyway, if you like what you see so far, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.